if I had to sum up Brussels itself in terms of my sightseeing and outdoorsy events uh, in day and night, um, I would say she's an elegant, an elegant lady of status. So there's a huge historic square which there's events in in summer, which there's a great historic square um, where there's events in summer. I've captured one you're about to see. Um, it's the buildings are beautiful and it's a very uh, it has a similarity to, to the Dutch architecture but different again so it's but it's beautiful beautiful big buildings this is where you're getting into the old town squares them being preserved and then very much being the center of the city um, you still got I haven't gone into a lot of them while I've been traveling but you've got a lot of churches and you've got parks and it's just an opportunity to be out and about and experiencing things I found it to be a very safe city. So some of the footage from at night, I walked around, I went to a meetup, as I said, and I was out there dancing till like midnight or something. And um, I still felt very safe. I walked from there down the road, back down to the train station, caught the train back to my accommodation. Um, probably the dodgiest area was around my accommodation actually, because it was around a big train station that had that, um, it was in a dodgier part of town, I think, or just didn't have that, it had that people hanging around thing versus, you know, the, the historic ones that were beautiful. And But anyway, Belgium, I think uh, its capital, Brussels, has quite a bit to offer. And uh, I think if you're going to do Belgium, it's worth a look. Definitely worth a look. just left which was fucking brilliant okay and we're filming Russell's Saint Michel, I think, playing its bells. I think this is the major centre of Brussels. There are stacks of people around. It's like any other time. It's kind of amazing because it feels like normal time. The architecture here is kind of out of this world. Incredible buildings. Grand Palace, I think we're in. It does seem redundant to say this square was a feast for the eyes. Um, it was. It, it, there's something about these areas that are just the open area is beautiful. They make the most of the space and the buildings. I think the photos and the video do actually capture it quite well. They are spectacular. They're just, there's a beauty to it. And I think a lot of them are used for different things, like some of them are government buildings. 
Some of them are hotels. I mean, just the gold leaf on this building, if you really take a close look, is spectacular. And you can see the um, umbrellas at the bottom of, you know, the little stalls all through the, the square. Um, this is, you know, that looks like a Roman kind of frieze at the top. And if memory serves, this was a hotel, actually. Um, gosh, if... You know, if you've got squillions, I would go and stay there. It's, it looks spectacular and the view you'd have of everything happening would be beautiful. Okay, there's me. See, I did exist. Uh, I was trying to stay out of the sun and there is that classic characteristic pandemic mask. Let's go the PPE, not. I do not miss those days. I'm sure none of us do. But uh, yeah, me in the square, I was there. There was a beautiful park, I think actually not long from the church. And again, you know, it's clean, it's tidy, it's open. There's these chairs everywhere just to encourage people to just be out and enjoy and be in nature. It's just beautiful and, and it's welcoming. It's a city you want to hang out in for that reason. Here's another obviously shot of the church. Um, it was quite spectacular if memory serves, but I don't think you're allowed to film on the inside. Um, but just, you know, it, you walk up this street and then out of nowhere it kind of appears. And, um, you know, obviously the history meant Europe has them everywhere. Just a little bit of a shot of the steps. You kind of also have, which is a bit different around these older sites, you'll have more of the paving that's old school. So you've not, it's where you're getting like the old school, like Romany paving. It's quite beautiful as well, but it, it sets the whole mood. Okay, so not the prettiest photo, <laughs> but it does show you that you can actually park nearby. I think this might have been a public holiday. But right across was the park. And a lot of it was still kind of uphill. But it's interesting how I had a Swiss friend visit Australia and say old, the city was old and new buildings together. And I think that's also a characteristic of Belgium. So on the right, you've got a very modern kind of office building. And on the left, you've got this historic church. And more historic facades sort of towards the back. So you can tell they've modernized the top, but yet they've kept the flavor of the area. They've kept the beauty, the beauty of the old buildings that existed at that time and just integrated them into the new. Moving around the side of the church you can actually see a little bit off to the right um, there is a statue I'm assuming of quite a significant church figure in the history but yeah it's it's a ginormous building um, it's it, and just the detail and the preservation of it it's incredible. Got more of the arches there um, I don't think they look as nice from the outside. I think inside you can experience the stained glass windows more. So if you're a church kind of person in the sense that you like churches or you like seeing European churches, um, they are quite beautiful and this one probably is one not to miss. And here we have one shot I managed to grab of the inside. Um, just, yeah, the this was where all the money was back in the day they put into building churches this was where it all went um, and not to the people yay okay and the view from outside across to the park it actually was a beautiful day uh, and of course being the height of summer it was a great time to be out and about in the city and even though it was still pandemic time um, it was probably coming more off the end of that but the view from outside was quite beautiful And last but not least, an extra shot of the square. I think I wanted to capture the little guy at the top on his horse in the gold embossed work. I think this was the only old city or old town square that I did find that kind of gold work, um, but it was really well looked after in, in Brussels. So as I said, worth a look. So I think it was easy for me to forget how much I did actually see while I was there, even though I was working at the same time which is kind of a key thing to keep in mind. So the reason why I don't have reams and reams and reams is I am nomading at the same time, working remotely and nomading at the same time, I'm trying to check out places to live, but also be a tourist in what could end up being my own city or hometown or location. 
I think Belgium is a lovely place and I thought Brussels was lovely. Uh, I don't know that vibe wise long term it's for me but I think from a visiting perspective it's great and I think if you're working for one of the EU organizations you probably have an automatic connect into the local life there because there'd be people you work with and there'd be networks of people to meet that way but it's um it's a, it's it's a nice city it's um it's a little more up and down in terms of you know walking around you've it's not kind of completely flat or it's not as flat as Antwerp and um Bruges Bruges but it's um it's got some things to offer so i would recommend a, a visit if you're around and uh planning to see what it's all about sharing is caring mm-hmm.